Every time I come to do um, one of these videos, which is a, a riding technique or a how-to or a tip, um, I just discard the idea because I just don't like to preach. I think the last one I did was in 20, or the first one on the last one was in 2014, which was called RJ 70%. I'll put a link in the uh, description so you guys can check it out. This one is what I use all the time and it doesn't actually have a name. It's, um, I call it the 360 degree photographic vision. Um, it sounds complex, it's extremely complex to explain, but it's so easy to, uh, to learn and to follow. Basically, as I'm riding, you might not see it sometimes you might see my helmet moving but my eyes are constantly scanning what is behind me and as far as i can see in front of me so if i look in this right mirror here and i see let's say a white mercedes um that is taken into a my memory and the same thing applies for the to the left so two seconds later when i go to or a second later when i go to update that image if that mercedes is still there it means everything is fine so when i want to overtake or whatever um i'm not going to be surprised when i do a shoulder check now if if that mercedes is not there then it means it's either going too fast or it moved right behind me or whatever so it, it's just an alert as such same thing goes for front I, you don't look immediately in front of you and that's i think some riders make that mistake especially the new riders is that they are like terrified and they just look immediately in front of them no look as far as you can see now you can see a van 10 cars ahead who's applying his brakes but nobody else is so that is a danger sign so when you come close to that van as you approach it you're going to make sure 100 percent that you overtake safely or filter safely and so on it's really difficult to explain it but it's it, if you come into that mindset which is constantly checking your surrounding and not just concentrate what is exactly behind you what is immediately behind you and what is immediately in front of you you start to build that picture around you and that picture is will either alert you to a danger or it will make your riding much easier much smoother and that's why you see even in filtering uh, people say how can you be that smooth it's because you you look far ahead and, and you're preparing your moves 10 moves ahead as opposed to that's the car that's a mirror that's another car i'll just go through that and then i'll worry what is in front no it, you're you're always preparing ahead and it makes your your riding so much smoother and you're not going to get surprised by things just popping out of nowhere and especially by other bikers and so on bikers you pay a lot more attention to because they're filtering and they're going just as fast as you so they could surprise you a lot more than cars um as i said it's really difficult to explain but it's easy to learn so constantly update the photographic image who's behind you who's in front of you who's to the side of you and then you're not going to get surprised um, i think that's it i couldn't explain it any any more than that and i think i didn't explain it well but i hope you guys get the idea Now, should we uh, scare some of these birds? 